Well, let's talk about the Queen City with eight different ballot items that kept Burlingtonians busy. Let's get back to ABC 22's Josh Morrill, who joins us live again from Ward 6 in Burlington with reaction from city leaders on just how the questions here could change the balance of power in the city. Yeah, Lauren, the polls have just closed here. As you can see here behind me, the poll workers picking up, tallying results. Um, and as I mentioned earlier tonight, the ballot here in Burlington is the longest it has been in over a decade. There's eight different ballot items, as you mentioned, but also five different city council races and uh, voters are very split on a number of these issues that they're voting on. The contention continues to be on questions seven and eight on the ballot, which are both voter referendums that have made their way onto the ballot in recent months. Uh, they would start the process of giving civilian oversight over the police department and allow voters to have more power in city decisions and progressive Will Anderson who is running against incumbent Joan Shannon in the South District race says both are important for Burlington residents to feel safe and accounted for while Mayor Moreau Weinberger says both would set the city back years with their efforts to rebuild ailing parts of that city. This is not the way to do police accountability. In fact, this is going to uh, significantly undercut our efforts to rebuild the police department and keep the community safe. Uh, I think it would be problematic and really move us away from this representative democracy that's worked for Burlington really well for a long time if ballot question number eight were to pass. The community has to be the source of accountability when this force uh, you know, has the potential to, to, to use deadly force. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think that the police chief alone uh, can, be a, can hold this force accountable. And on the city council, there are eight open seats with three incumbents running unopposed. And Weinberger said that the makeup of the new council could shift his process for trying to appoint uh, a permanent uh, police chief. John Murat has been serving as the acting chief since early of last year. Um, but also make sure to tune in later tonight. We'll have full results, as Lauren mentioned, but here in Burlington, reaction from city leaders as well after we get those results. Live in Burlington tonight, Josh Morrill. ABC 22 News.